sophomore year. What a strange grade. Out of the four years, it seems that sophomore year is forgotten, as every other year has something that people can remember them by. Freshman year is the baby grade, senior year is the final bittersweet grade, and even junior year is known as one of the worst grades ever. Sophomore year is just such an oddball, and I'm talking about it today. Now, if you aren't aware, let me give you a quick history lesson. About a year ago, I made a video where I went over my freshman year experience. I mainly talked about the start of the year, and overall concluded that freshman year was a pretty solid start to high school. That video proceeded to blow up, and I mean blow up. I originally expected the video to get maybe 100 views, but YouTube's algorithm had other plans, and showed it to thousands of people. I can't thank them enough for giving me an opportunity with a thing I love doing, but that's not the point of this video. A year has come and gone, and after going through sophomore year on my own, I thought I'd take a trip down memory lane. So today, I'm going to be going over my experience with sophomore year, and ultimately decide if it deserves to be as forgotten as it is. Now, this video is going to be slightly different from the freshman year experience, as instead of ending at homecoming, this video is covering everything. The whole year, people! So sit back, maybe grab a snack, and enjoy the video. Before the year even started, I needed to get my hair cut, as it was getting way too long and ugly. So, instead of going to a professional place, I decided to say, screw it, and call up my friend Kai to come cut it for me. Kai... You're not gonna mess up my hair, right? L, I'm no professional. You know that. Yeah, I know. It's just last time I got my hair cut, everyone made fun of me for looking like a pineapple. How long have we been friends for? Three years. Exactly. I wouldn't mess up your hair even if I hated your ass. Now, let me do my thing. Okay. And surprisingly, she didn't do a bad job. So, at least some mistakes didn't repeat. Now, when it came to the first day, I woke up and I didn't miss the bus! This is a dream come true! I arrived at school and was told to get in line to collect my Chromebook. While I was waiting, I met up with some friends I hadn't seen in a bit. One of them decided to show me their cool shoes that had bee designs. But my dumbass saw them as actual bees. So I jumped away and caused all my friends to laugh. <laughs> After getting our Chromebooks, I went to my first class and checked my schedule. Unfortunately, this year, we were given our schedules basically the day before school started, so a lot of people were frantically trying to remember what their classes were. The only notable thing about my schedule was that I had no classes with my friends. Again. Guess some things stay the same. It's okay, L. I completely relate to this situation. Mason, get the fuck out. Fine. I'm sorry. The rest of the first day went on as you expect. Syllabus here, syllabus there. The only cool thing I did was mess around with my Chromebook. With that being said, let us move on from the first day and actually get into the first few school weeks. So I had to do gym class again as I needed the credits to graduate, and thankfully I was able to change in a different room as, once again, I don't like stripping down and changing in front of a bunch of people. So one time I was changing like usual when I heard the door open. To quickly give a layout of this room, there is a bathroom stall to the right, with a set of lockers to the left, and on the stall's side, there is a sink and a shower, with a huge curtain. So, I went far back into the shower and stayed quiet, as the last thing I needed was to make some noise. I didn't know what they were going to do, what if they pulled the curtain and caught me trying to change? And after a few seconds, I got my answer. It turns out, this guy came in to take a piss, and probably didn't expect someone to be in there. Thank god they didn't have to take a shit though, otherwise I probably would've died. Whew, glad that's over with. Note to self, don't eat five eggs before school starts. <laughs> oh my- oh my god! Why?! Why, why me of all people?! <laughs> Another time, we were playing soccer, and I decided to be a big dog and try to block the kid from kicking the ball. Little did I know that this kid was out for blood, as with one quick kick, I got hit right in the stomach. Hard. Holy shit! L, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. At least I get to sit out for the rest of class. After that incident, the school weeks went on as normal, until we made it to homecoming once again. And this time, things were more or so the same. We had an entire week of dress-up days that were so bad that I didn't partake in them. Thankfully, we got to play cock again! Clash classes, obviously. 
To quickly remind you, this was an event that had a bunch of students do some random activities for their grade. And like last year, I didn't participate in this event. But this time, instead of getting to hang out with my friends, I was put into a room full of randos. And we were told that this was basically a study hall for us. Oh, hey, it's you! The guy from my driving class! Not again. Hey man, chill out. I'm not here to ask if you play Fortnite. Well, that's early. Anyways, are you aware of a silly YouTuber named L Garbage? Dude, shut the fuck up! Okay, sorry! God! Eventually, Friday came around and it was time to hear about who won the homecoming competition. Our grade got last place. Guys! Guys, how do we manage to lose to the freshmen? We were supposed to do better, not worse. God damn it, I hate this class. Okay, L, I think you're getting too mad over this. No, I have a right to be mad. God, why does so and so? I fucking hate this class. Sorry, guys, you'll have to excuse him. Clearly, he doesn't take last place well. Although I was very upset about our embarrassing failure, I was more focused on the homecoming dance. Last time I went, I had a terrible time since I was sick and just saw it as a waste of time. However, this time things were actually great. I got to hang out with friends, dance along to a lot of songs, and uh... Um... Yeah, probably should explain that. This is who I'm calling S.O. Get it? Because it stands for significant other. A week before the dance, I asked them out and they surprisingly agreed. You know, I'll give myself props for doing it, as freshman me would never even think about asking anyone out. I'm not going to be talking about SO too much, as I don't feel that comfortable going further, but needless to say, I finally had a partner. Also, let's go! First kiss after 15 years! Excuse me, Elle, but what about Salmon? Mason? I was four! Do you really think anyone counts that as a first kiss? I mean, I do. Well, good for you, but I don't. Now leave it. Now. How about we talk about buses? One Friday, I was at my locker getting ready to grab my things and get on the school bus, when I realized something. You see, every Friday of the first semester, I brought my gym clothes home to wash. And on this particular day, I just so happened to have left them in my cooking class, which was across the building from my locker. As soon as I realized this, I grabbed my things and sprinted to the classroom. Once I got there, I grabbed my bag of gym clothes and ran back. I had no time to waste, so in a panic, I blew a hole into the school. Thankfully, I made it in time and was exhausted. But hey, at least I didn't miss the bus like last year. Now, we're gonna skip a little bit as nothing noteworthy really happened. Just know that school was really starting to burn me out. And finals did not help that. If you aren't aware, a final exam is when schools decide that their students haven't suffered enough and make them take tests on everything they learned in that semester. I'm not going to go on a tangent on how stupid the final system is, but to put it simply, I'm not a fan. Now, I have no idea if the universe thought I had it too good for too long or wanted to give me something to talk about in a video because event after event happened all at fucking once. First, it was the final exams. Now, I didn't do a terrible job and passed them, but I still lost about 90% of my school motivation. Then, I was given the news that my eldest dog was going to be put down. I didn't even get to be there for it, as I was still testing. And to top it all off, I got a text message from SO telling me that we were done. And I got dumped. <laughs> You know, when I finished freshman year, I was excited to see how much better sophomore year would get, only to find out that it wasn't going to be like that. But don't let my stories worry you. I know some of you seek these kind of videos to ease the worry of going into a new school year, and although my experience wasn't as positive, you shouldn't take that as a sign that it's all downhill from here. We all go through different things at a different time, so remember that. Now, with that out of the way, I'll catch you guys at the end card. Coming back to school after the storm I experienced, I was at a new low. I once again had no friends in any classes and barely talked to anyone. I basically went into independent mode, and because of that and other factors, I would be pretty dickish to people who tried talking to me. Anytime someone tried to strike up a conversation, I would answer with something short to basically say to them that I wasn't interested in talking to you. So, uh, L, what did you do over break? 
I just relaxed. Mmm. Well, do you want to hear what I did over break? I, I don't care. Dude, you're being such a bitch right now. Are you even trying to talk to me? Not really. Fine. Be that way, bitch. I deeply regret coming off as a person who was uninterested with anyone who tried talking to me. Now, I have to deal with the fact that the people in my grade aren't the most fond of me. But enough about that. How about we talk about the time I got in trouble? One day, I was in the homeroom listening to some music when my homeroom teacher, Miss Bruno, gave me a slip that said, Hey dumbass, go speak to the assistant principal. Oh, fuck. As I was heading to the office, my mind was racing. What the hell did I even do? I mean, I looked up if it was possible to overdose on melatonin, but that was just because I was curious, and I look up dumb stuff all the time. As I entered the office, I met my assistant principal, who told me to take a seat. Hello, L. Do you know why you're in here? Uh, not really. Did, did I do something wrong? Unfortunately, you did. You're down here because you were wearing earbuds in homeroom. Wait. What? You know our school has a policy for no phones and earbuds in class. Yeah, of course I know that. Luckily though, this is only your first offense. I'm just reminding you of the rules and telling you not to do it again, as next time we'll be confiscating your earbuds. Oh, okay. I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Have a good day, ma'am. I was sent to the office for wearing earbuds in homeroom. That makes no sense at all. Now, I knew that our school was really shoving this no phones or earbuds in class rule down our throats, but guys, I only use my earbuds in homeroom and study hall, aka the two classes where you do nothing but work. God, I hate my school sometimes. This discussion obviously didn't stop me, as I kept using my earbuds in study hall and didn't get caught for the rest of the year. The worst part about all of this was now my record says I had an offense for inappropriate behavior. Do you have any idea how bad that sounds? I only wore earbuds in class, and now it sounds like I did something freaky. Moving ahead a bit, I was finally starting to feel a little better over what happened to me at the end of the semester. Man. I'm glad I don't feel so depressed all the time. Maybe in a few more months and I'll be able to say that I'm over everything. I can't wait! Oh shit! While I was in Spanish class, a duck had flown into the window and died. That wasn't the worst part, however, as their mate was there slowly realizing that their lover was dead. Eventually, a teacher came out and took the dead duck, and we were told that it was going to be taxidermied and put into a classroom. I'm sorry, what?! This dog just died in the school's window, and now they're going to taxidermy it and keep it like a trophy? Now, when I enter junior year, I'm going to be wondering where on earth that duck is in the building. A few days later, my class hosted a funeral. There were candles and a photo of the duck lying dead on the grass. Oh, Mr. or Miss, or they them duck, for the short time you were here, you hold a special place in my heart, and uh, uh... Okay, guys, I, I can't take this seriously when there's a picture of the duck lying dead. I don't really know who, what else to say either. I mean, can, congrats on being a room decoration. I'm just, I'm just gonna go now. With that sad story out of the way, let's skip ahead one last time. There's about three weeks left of school, and besides feeling the final exam dread again, I was excited to be finally done with this school year. That was until I entered my biology class, where my teacher explained to us that we are going to be dissecting baby pigs! Oh! That sounds lovely! Now, I don't like hurting animals, even if they're dead, so I wanted nothing to do with this project. However, I had to participate, otherwise I would lose out on a lot of points. Our groups were our table partners, and thankfully, we made an agreement that they would dissect the pig, something I didn't want to do, and I would write stuff down on our packet, something they didn't want to do. We actually were one of the better groups in that class, as we were able to get all of our stuff done on time. My partners even had time to dissect parts of the pig that weren't required. They chopped off their tongue, opened up their head to see the brain, and they even cut their heart out. In the end, they put that pig into pieces. And although I was mortified, I thanked them for not making me do any dissecting. After the whole situation, before I knew it, it was finals week again. And after putting the rest of my school motivation into them, I passed my exams once again, and school finally came to a close. Man, what a fucking journey. Going into sophomore year, I wondered if it was going to be back-to-back -back good grades. However, I was so wrong. Sophomore year for me sucked. There's no doubt about that. But 
I hope this video at least showed you that not everyone has a great school year. And if you're going into sophomore year, don't think that it's going to be terrible. We will all experience years differently from one another. Hopefully, you can at least take that from this video. And with that, thanks for being here. And I swear to God, if I hear anything about a junior year experience, I swear to fuck. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to yet another end card featuring good old me, L Garbage. Before I talk about anything else, I'd like to give a thanks to all the people who decided to voice act slash be featured in the video. Mation, Salsa, Kai, Aaron, and Fish. Five of you guys, Jesus. Thank you guys all for giving me such good vocal performance and being a part of the video. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Also, I'd like to thank everyone for 10k subscribers. That is just... That is insane. I did not ever expect myself to be one tenth of the way there to getting a silver play button, but here we are. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully we'll get to more future goals. When I wanted to make a sophomore year experience, I wanted to do it for two reasons. One, because you guys wouldn't stop asking about it. You guys kept going, oh, are you going to do a sophomore year experience? Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I did that for one. But the second reason is a lot more personal, I guess. You see, I've been very public about me saying that I'm not the biggest fan of the freshman year experience, mainly for a lot of reasons like the animation, the artwork, the audio, and just overall it just wasn't a good video in my opinion. So the point of this video was to kind of prove myself that I have improved over an entire year and hopefully this video was worthy of being better. I think it's better than the freshman video and hopefully you guys will think the same. But at the end of the day, I think we all know that the freshman year experience was probably my peak. <laughs> See, I, I, I can make fun of myself. I'm also going to give myself huge props for the fact that this is now the biggest video I've ever made. Like, School Crushes comes very close, but I think this video tops the, like, the leaderboard of most ambitious videos I've ever worked on, and I'm glad I was able to get it out on the time I wanted it to. All I hope is that this video gets seen and does decent. That's all I'm hoping for. But I'm gonna end it here, so let me quickly go through my stereotypical YouTuber outro. Make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already, share this video out to your... Uh, how about uncle? Yeah, share this video to your uncle, and thank you guys for watching the video, and stay garbage.